Good morning. It is Tuesday the 25th of August and we're going to read together Psalm 53 this morning. Only fools say in their heart there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. God looks out from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil ever learn? They eat my, up my people like bread. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of praying to God. Terror will grip them. Terror like they have never known before. God will scatter the bones of your enemies. You will be put to shame for God has rejected them. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When God restores his people, Jacob will shout for joy and Israel will rejoice. Amen. It's a psalm written in the time, obviously, of oppression and of things that are going on. Uh, you can see that at the very end, it says, Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When God restores his people, Jacob will shout for joy. Again, Mount Zion um, is quite often seen as a, a phrase used for heaven. Israel can be read as the people of Israel or as God's people, Christians. And it says when God restores his people, that Jacob will shout. You know, this is a psalm which very much reflects the world. Um, a fool says in their heart there is no God. And we, we'd say people are foolish, but... People do say there is no God. Some people turn from God. And right the way through the Bible, there are examples of people turning from God. And God gets so upset, so cross. That's why we have the great flood. And um, whenever there's judgment on the earth, but Noah and his family are spared. But again, even after that time, people again have this sense of being more important. And they try to build a tower, the tower of Babel to, to heaven. And God confuses their language and scatters them throughout the world um, again bringing people and calling them to justice but it, it, it just shows the cycle of of humankind and even as you read say the book of judges and you see that cycle of god's people turning for forgiveness and following for a while then turning their own way and getting into trouble then crying out for mercy and turning to god for a while and that downward spiral but at the end of it all, if, if you want a spoiler alert for the book, when you skip the revelation, how God returns and, and puts things right and restores things the way they should be. You know, that's what the psalm really is a reflection of that. You know, who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel when God restores his people? You know, in Revelation, it's all about whenever Jesus returns uh, and sin and, and the evil is completely defeated and destroyed. And then we have a new heaven and a new earth. You know, it just it just shows that God wants things to be perfect. How we have made it imperfect, but how God will restore it again. But we need to trust him. You know, that gives us hope in this world of today. Whenever there's so much goes on, which is confusing to us. So much which is evil. So much where we say, why? Why this and why that? Why suffering? Um, whenever we realise that. It's because we have a world which is filled with evil and sin. But it'll only go on for so long before God restores it. And that's what we pray for. But we pray in the meantime that people would not be fools, but rather that people would open their eyes and their hearts and see God and turn to him. Let's pray. Father, again, thank you for your word. Thank you for what it says and what it teaches us. Lord, as we think about the world and humankind and the cycle that we are in, we do want people to see you. We don't want people to be blind to you. We don't want people to turn their backs on you. Rather, we want people to see you and to turn to you, realising that they need you and realising that they are more blessed by having you um, in their lives and by opening themselves up to you. Lord, we pray for our town, our nation, our world. Lord, that there would be a revival, that people would turn to you, that people would see that they need you and open their eyes. Father, please, we pray, move in our world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, folks. Take care. God bless. See you tomorrow.